Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today, we have Narwhal Imperial Stout from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. It is an American Imperial slash Double Stout, and Sierra Nevada is out of Chico, California. This is 10.2% alcohol by volume, 60, 60 IBUs. Uh, 3.98 is the average rating on Untapped. It's been rated 75,448 times. Uh, the description on Untapped reads Narwhal. Anyways, Narwhal Imperial Stout is inspired by the mysterious creatures that thrive in the deepest fathoms of the frigid Arctic Ocean. Featuring incredible depth of malt flavor, rich with notes of espresso, baker's cacao, roasted grain, and a little hint, or in a light hint of smoke. Here's the thing. I know it's cocoa. I don't know. I like saying cacao. Uh, Narwhal is a massive malt forward monster. Aggressive but refined with a variety of... Uh, a velvety smooth body and decadent finish. Narwhal will age in the bottle for years to come. It will, but this one won't. Alright, hard pour yields us about a finger and a half half of head. It is pitch black. There is absolutely not no seeing anything through this. Definitely get that smoke, that cat cat or cocoa. Uh I get the espresso as well. Maybe a hint of that roastiness. I don't know. I get a lot of that uh, smoke, but it says it's light. Uh, is that on the nose or oh, flavor? So might be heavy on the nose, but light on the flavor. Cheers. Sorry, on this channel we say Prost, but that's quite bitter. A lot of coffee. It is definitely big on that coffee bitterness. You get a very, very little bit of, of that uh, cocoa. I get more of the roastiness and more of the smoke. A lot more of the smoke than I do. Cocoa. It's definitely the coffee. And it, coffee is all the way through for sure. Uh, there's more of that smoke and more of that roastiness than uh, the roasted grain than there is of the uh, cocoa. I think all of it's all the way through. Could be wrong, but I think it is. But yeah, it's definitely uh, mostly the uh, coffee. Like, it's way far and away the espresso. Uh, then I'd say the next biggest one is actually the smoke. And the roastiness is right there with it. But the cocoa is very small. Cocoa is actually immediate. And then the espresso kicks in and you don't taste that cocoa anymore. Uh, 
but the uh, uh, roasted grain and the uh, smoke are all the way through. They're just secondary to that espresso. In case you've never seen the label, it's actually a really cool label. Alright, so what you were seeing a little bit of, oh, um, also, as you could probably see. that recently Got a lot recently can't really see that last one too well but that came with it uh, I always play that in demo like if I'm waiting for my girlfriend or something. I, 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 always, I always like to sit there at the store and play that on demo. It's a, actually, I've already played one. Uh, uh, I've played four rounds of it. And when I was playing the demo, I never got number one. Uh, I finished second a fair few times and third and fourth. Never usually less than that, but... This is not as difficult. Uh, uh, maybe I need to... I think uh, the higher the CC, the more difficult it is. But I'll find that out. She got this. And she got this. And they look awesome. They do. But I don't know shit after the first generation. I know that first generation, that's it. Anybody who knows this well can already tell what it is. Finally, we've been wanting to get this collectively for a long time. And this one's mine. She'll play it. She'll love it, I know. Same with this, but this, we've been wanting it so bad, and I'm hoping we can both, you know, have our own things going, because you can have, you know, we both have an account on the uh, Xbox One, which it is both of ours. I paid for it. But she might have paid me back for half of it. I don't really remember. But it's both of ours. It is. It's both of ours. Uh and we both played for this, uh, paid for this game. I hope it's as good as the computer version because we watch people play it online, on YouTube rather. And I picked up these two. Always gotta have Mario Party because it's another game that her and I can play a lot. But. This is the only Pokemon I know, and this has already been really fun. I just gotta let the uh, uh, council charge up. Not so shockingly, it comes with less than 50% charge. And I could technically charge it while I play that, because I... And I know I could play that on the, on the TV, but... Handheld. It's Pokemon. It's got to be handheld. I don't care. It's got to be handheld. Otherwise, it just does not make sense. But anyways, uh, the way our situation is set up, I do not want to unhook that from behind the, the TV stand and everything every time I want to charge it as a handheld. So I'm kind of thinking about getting a second charger for it, for being a handheld, but then I think about it, 
it's pro I don't I haven't looked into it. It's probably got enough uh, life that it can definitely last four, five, six hours, you know, of play at one time. So, and then every night I'm sitting there anyways. I don't know. I'm excited. <clears throat> She's excited. We'll both play The Sims. And I've kind of watched, like, I'm going through one of the original games, which I love the SP Advance. She hates it, but I purely got it to play the Pokemon games uh, with a backlight. And, you know, you know, I wouldn't have to use the original color and go, light. Uh, I do have uh, Mario Kart for the SP, but I don't believe I have another SP game besides that. And you know, I played that a fair amount too. But it, just like every other portable games, went by the wayside besides these. Every, like, three years, I pick up and play the original Pokemon games. Like, sometimes I like going through yellow, just because you get all three starters. Sometimes I like going through blue or red. I'm having fun going through blue. Uh, I don't know. But I'm excited to do Let's Go Eevee. And I did Eevee over Pikachu because Pikachu's been played out. It was the series. It was the yellow version. Uh, not to say I won't do it again. Uh, not to say I won't ever get the Let's Go Pikachu. But what's keeping me from doing it, and th I'm thinking, it's got to be the exact same game, just with Pikachu. But then you think back. I've got the red version, and i got the blue version. They are exactly the same game. The difference? You can find a few different Pokemon depending on which version you have. And the coloring of it. It's more red with the red version, obviously. More blue with the uh, blue version. But other than that and finding uh, certain Pokemon, it's no different. Like, red version you can get Oddish. Blue version you cannot. So and I think, why would you waste your time buying both? But definitely did it for that. So it's not such a stretch, but then you also got to think, they're 60 bucks. Back when these came out, they were probably 20 bucks, which now they're way more than that. Used way more than that. Because Pokemon's so fucking popular, but... Anyways. I've had this before. Apparently not. I've had it, but I've never rated it. And I really liked it when I had it before. I wish it was a little less of the espresso. And like more of that smoke and roastiness could come out. And have a little bit more of that co cocoa. It doesn't have to be like bursting with cocoa or anything. But I want more than just a... Uh, just a hint of it at the very beginning before it gets washed away by the espresso. But it's a it's a very solid Imperial Stout. I'm going to say uh, a 4 rating on it. Uh, I never said if I'd get it again. Yeah, I'll get it again. But every once in a great while, I'll get it. To me, it's just not crazy good. Coffee stouts have been way overdone, but anyway, until next time, Prost.